Hey guys, today is Thursday. We are six days out of the CrossFit Games. I'm gonna take you through a full day of training here in Michigan with the squad. You guys are gonna get a little inside look of our last few hard days of training before we head over to Madison on Sunday and get this season finale started. I made a Utah with this. Here is oh. our special eggs and oatmeal recipe. I'm gonna link it here so you guys can get an inside look what it is. But basically it's eggs inside of oatmeal. waters for myself. One is with electrolytes and collagen and then the other one is kind of like my post-workout shake that I already have that it's going to be ready for the day. Lots of water, ice, hydration because I feel like I'm sweating so much. Good morning, Gavin. Good morning. <sighs> What's up? Headed to the gym right now. <laughs> you reckon where are we going? Um, to, the pool, to the pool. To the pool. Myers. <laughs> <laughs> to the pool. Grocery shopping. <laughs> Alright, who's gonna win for the females then? Do you have any favorites? Uh, I mean, I think it's gonna be hard to beat Tia. It'd be nice to see where Laura Horvath will play, Gabby Migala, or, 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 or. I don't know, but Marlo Bryant. I think I'm probably uh, mentioning like top. Top five contenders for sure. Okay. Is it gonna be Burbies at the CrossFit Games this year? <clears throat> yeah, probably Burbies over hay bales. In the West, something like that. like that. Do you look forward to the mountain bike or no? Yes, I do. This vlog just turned into like your first vlog, <laughs> by the way, instead of Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I did. Yeah, but both me and Frederick did very good on the cyclocross in 2017. But that wasn't like, I, I don't feel like that was a super high skilled event though. It was like, yeah, there were turns and you had to get off the bike a couple of times to get over the sand, but that wasn't like, like hard turns or, yeah, it wasn't very technical. Annie, I was actually gonna tell you that I got six in my heat 
the first tee, but then all of you guys beat me in the next tee. Yeah. <laughs> I think because that was the same year you didn't get much rest because then the girls went and then the boys went and then you guys went again because it was it after the run swim run yeah yeah I think it was a pretty decent rest though I remember I took for ever lots of waiting just to get to the bikes and stuff That's take that as a valid excuse Laura <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. so you had appropriate rest and the others had two <laughs> no 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 everyone got decent rest is Team Rick Rick looking forward to biking? Um, we'll see this morning. <laughs> What's the gym called, Bjorkman? The Pit? Pit Fitness Ranch? Pit? Yeah, it's nice. Take a look. Good morning, Cam. Good morning, mate. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Oh, yeah. Been practicing your biking here for a couple uh, hours already? But I ruined my shirt, so that's coming off. Oh, that sucks. Uh, Khan, can you introduce yourself for the vlog? Hi, I'm Khan for the vlog. <laughs> here, um, learning how to ride a bicycle. Are you on a team called Reykjavik? I am on CrossFit Reykjavik team, yes. Uh, are you excited for the bike? I am excited to learn how to bike. <laughs> uh, give me a day. I would just like a day where I can just practice on this and like. I know Yami wants to steal a bunch of other stuff, so I'll probably try to get that done as quick as possible so I can just spend as much time getting comfortable on this. I'm confident that if I feel comfortable on the bike, I can do well on it. You will. You will. Abby's ready. Next workout. Um, team workout from last year. She's, she's med ball over the bo boxes and hang worm, worm hang cleans. Hang worm. Hang worm. Hang worm. We're doing some hang worms. Worm hang clean and jerks. Yummy, you want to tape? Yes. Yami, yeah, I, mean, I hear you yesterday you were setting world records on the jet ski, is that right? Yes. Too bad there was a limiter on it. It only would <laughs> go 40 miles per hour. I was hoping for 80, but uh, it just wasn't a good day to die. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. So, everyone grips. Boom, 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 pause. Boom, boom, you know what? Pause. That's what I want to do with touch and goes. Huh. Ah. Yeah. There you go. Are you referring to Mayhem, Khan? Ah uh, yeah, well just both teams. Mayhem was uh, one of the teams. I was also watching the Aussie team. Shout out mm. to my homeland. <laughs> yeah, the Aussie team did really well in that one though. Oh yeah? Uh, it was, yeah, I think they were only a second or two behind Mayhem. Which one? 
uh, I think it was Urban Energy. Mm, nice. Yeah, that was cool. Clean 345. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Go. How many hairbands does Lauren need for her games? 1,000 hairbands. <laughs> because, I mean, have you seen the hair? Yeah, it's a big issue, actually. Yes. We talked about going bold. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to motivate them yep. with this look, but apparently it's not catching on. It's all about performance. Look is really secondary, so you like... Yeah, evolve. exactly. It's so much more aerodynamic. I mean, yeah. think about the speed difference on a run, for example. Yeah, I know. Or on a GHD, as you're moving through air fast. I actually kind of told it to get the, the memo either. Yeah, Tola, but he at least has like a little uh, aerodynamic stripe in the middle. So he's more like a Formula One car that's fine-tuned there, but this is... Uh, <laughs> the worm hits my hair, yes. and when I'm sweating, my product gets on the worm, and it's slipping with a saggy rag. Oh, you need more sticky product. Yeah, what product are you using? Right, let's do this. Well, I got let's black people it. product, bro. <laughs> it's cream, it's creamy. Ooh. Stand by. Go! Workout in 6.58, Mayhem was 9.42 at the game. We need to do this. A few more reps because you and Tola are not perfectly in sync. And that makes the middle back difficult as well. Yeah. If like you're a little slow going up on a few of the reps or Tola a little fast. So it's like, round. it's usually on like the at first one, two maybe, be it on the video, but I felt they yeah. were like the most difficult so the reps in the middle the were the ones where so you were like trying to accommodate to both. So it's actually yeah. faster because, where like because one was slower, one was faster, faster yeah, yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. okay. Felt, they felt like better insane, as the workout went through. Yeah. They felt like they got better each set of 10. Really? So then, yeah, the first set of 10 felt like the hardest for me, the last set of 10 felt the easiest. You are at 9.03. I don't know why. What I think we can do better is we can make the worm easier for us because we weren't very well in sync on a few of those reps. It's so floppy. Yeah. I know. I felt better in the back. I could get like a rhythm and I could get a full grip over the worm. Cool. Well, and I didn't feel like anyone had to like assist me. That's cool. I did, yeah, it didn't feel like that, that, that side. That's how it looked like the positioning just in here. That's one thing. I, I did that's not feel good in the middle. middle. Yeah. Looks like I set in the middle. Or maybe I set with Lauren and I set with Andy. Yeah, I'll give you the two middle sets. I yeah. just look like I'm too I will, I'm also the same. I rest down like that, but I'm ready to pick it up. Maybe you want to hold a little bit more in the middle of the back. So watch towards the end. That's when it starts to feel better. Yeah. Let's just stay here. Do a set of, let's do a set of 10 because that's a difficult like, where we actually are. Oh, just staying here. Yeah, for a set of 10, that might be okay. Go. 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 You 
I normally would, but that's fine. I was able to stay upright when it's I was this. in that it's position. It's this arm that we were talking about, like on the clean. This inside arm that goes here. Yeah. yeah, that honestly looks so much more relaxed than what you did in the workout. Khan, right before I walked into the car, I heard you saying that you've been so confident in the training this year yeah. that mayhem and all the other teams is not even like relevant for you this year. Is that true? Where like you, hear that? you feel so confident this year? Where did you hear? It sounds like some sort of bullshit I would have said if I was real fired off like after a workout. You but... said it right before I turned on the camera. <laughs> Oh, listen, I'm extremely confident in my training. I'm extremely, I've never been this confident going into a competition, but I don't like biking. <laughs> it's weird, like I'm not really thinking about other teams. I just feel like our unit is as prepared as we could possibly be, and that makes me excited. Like, okay, the first announced anything for a workout, some of my favorite thing to have come out, would have been nice if they brought the board back into the fucking bikes. But, like, I don't know, every, every workout we do, just feel better and better. Breathing feels good, strength feels good. I hit the heaviest clean I've hit in like a year and a half, almost two years today. Clean 345. Yeah, yeah, easy too. Yes. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> yeah, so our mission today is to get Lauren uh, good to go for the chest bar pull ups. The lat dorsa is still a bit stuck with the ribs, so if we can do the sideline one where and just try and get some grass in through here. So, two weeks ago in training, we were doing this really brutal workout Yami had given us. And I was in the eighth round of this workout, two rounds left, and I felt something happen in my lap. Like I felt like this slight little like rubber band snap, and I'm just like so used to my body, and it just didn't feel right. And I came down, like I'm not doing another pull up. And I told Yami, like I'm done with the workout, like something didn't feel right. I didn't even try to do anything else, I just hopped on a bike. I could like getting out of like the bed was a little bit hard for me like I definitely felt like I strained something and I mean as athletes injuries are gonna happen like you're gonna strain you're gonna sprain something like it's always gonna happen I knew it was like I was like this is nothing major I've had other sprains before and about two weeks ago I just kind of took a week off of like resting and just doing things not using my arm and then we finally started easing back into things like come Monday and then we retested on Thursday chest of our pull-ups, which was a thing that was irritating it. Yami and Andrew have been literally like working on me non-stop throughout the two weeks. We've been working so hard to get this better because I know Yami really wants to see me out on the floor and Andrew does and everyone on the team like we've trained so hard for this. To have something like this happen so close to the CrossFit game, but it's like two weeks before and you have something like this, do you even think that I'm going to be able to compete this weekend? It sucks that it had to happen so close and we've just been going through a lot. I want them to have 100% confidence in me over the weekend. And it was, we were supposed to check in from one to three. The decision was made at 3.15 and I literally thought my season was over right there. Like I just put in so much work this season, moving to Iceland, being away from my family, and then to have something like this happen so close to games when I feel like the fittest and best I've felt in a long time. To have a little injury like this come up, the worst thing that can happen. And so it's been so emotional. Like I literally today, I've just, I'm like so exhausted right now. I'm ready to sleep and use all of tomorrow, Tuesday, to get ready for competing on Wednesday. So ready and even like more fired up than before. All right, so I was supposed to be filming a full day of training on Thursday. And as you guys might have seen, it took a quick turn because in the middle of it, I've 
been dealing with a little nagging injury that happened two weeks ago in training and I wasn't able to do pull-ups and on Thursday was the first time I was supposed to be testing a pull-up because I'm supposed to be competing in the CrossFit Games this week and I tested a pull-up in my second session and I was not able to do it and it was a very emotional day because I literally thought that my CrossFit Games season might be over but here we are it is Monday I am checked in with the team at So Ready to Compete. Just want to say thank you all for all your love and support, and I cannot wait to compete this weekend.